All right, well, welcome in fans here today on AudioSportsOnline.com. It is the County Wrestling Tournament. Rob Kendall's my name. David Houston will be alongside here momentarily as our uh, play-by-play announcer for at least the first part of the uh, day. It is the County Wrestling Tournament, and it'll be an all-day extravaganza. Wrestlers on both mats throughout the course of the day, and we will uh, we will do our best to keep you focused on Brownsburg wrestlers. There may be times where we've just simply got two Brownsburg wrestlers on both mats. We'll try to keep you informed as best we can. We're going to start with the 106-pounders and then work our way up, and it'll be an all-day event, and then we will just uh, circle right through. So literally matches all day. We'll try to move you back and forth, get you on uh, uh, as many match mats as possible, get you as many Brownsburg matches as possible. We'll be starting with the 106-pound uh, classes. And, uh, David, uh, it should be an exciting day for, uh, for wrestling. It'll be Nick Weaver for Brownsburg, who will be starting things off for us. Oh, okay, so it will indeed be on our uh, first mat. Now, David, do you know which one is technically the first mat? Um, I'm not sure yet. It looks... Um, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> and I'll get the camera over on whatever mat that is. Uh, Nick Weaver for Brownsburg, and I know there was a change in the 106 weight class. Nick, who is uh, who is Nick uh, wrestling there? Hold on, let me just flip to the page. Get to it in just a sec. All right, it looks like at 106 pounds, Nick Weaver will be going against Graham of Tri West. Okay, so yeah, and it will be this mat. I got that right. Nope, I'm gonna have to change that because looks like he's looks like That's Avon's Avon on this guy. mat. Yeah. So I'll flip that. Give me just a second here. This is uh, Graham of Tri-West, who's 7-7 seven and seven on the year. And uh, I apologize for being underprepared as an announcer this morning. But That's part of the job, yeah. David. Don't worry about it. Uh, know, it's Nick probably going to be record, easier but... if we switch spots. All right. And then that way I can more easily run the camera, and I'm going to do something else real quick. Yeah, there's six teams wrestling here today. Yeah, there'll be six teams wrestling here today. Cascade, Tri-West. Avon, Brownsburg, Danville, and Plainfield. And uh, right now, let's watch the match as it gets underway. Nick Weaver gets a exciting takedown. Ref, ref moves the rest wrestlers back to the center. All right, you're good, David. All right. Weaver's got the chicken wing in. Looks like he's trying to turn. Trying to stay in bounds. Tries it again. Looks like he'll get back points. That's a pin. Early, with about 50 seconds left in the first period, Nick Weaver gets a pin against Graham of Tri West. No. You need a pin. I, gotcha, all right. Got to keep that bracket filled out. Absolutely. It's just like your NCAA bracket. Except you're yeah. not playing for any prizes. <laughs> and I forgot to gamble this morning. Well. Well, uh, so the both matches in the 106 are done, it looks like. Now, Rob, did you see who won on this? Uh, I did not. We match? were too busy watching uh, Weaver uh, score the big win. A a the Ava, uh, uh, that was Weaver winning over the Tri-West wrestler. Uh, I'd be willing to guess that uh, Daly won for it. 
Avon. Okay, that we'll match, go, but we'll go with that. Not positive. Um, looks like we're going to the Danville match, which is at 113 pounds, and that'll be top of your score of, there. Yeah, Mallory Mal Malloy of Danville. He's a freshman this year, older brother. I'm guess I'm presuming is Neil Malloy, who's a uh, state champion, and he'll be going against. Gentry? Is that Gentry? So we got our Bulldog wrestler down there on mat uh, number two, which is our purple mat. And that is... It's Gentry of Brownsburg. It's not Gentry. I don't, I'm not sure who that is. Okay, so we have an unidentified uh, <laughs> Bulldog wrestler. As the, uh, those, of us, those of you that are listening in, you'll realize that the county tournaments are generally organized chaos and uh, a lot of shifts at the beginning of the match, and uh, we won't be informed with the updates until later in the day well we did we went through the coaches meeting and they did not uh they did not uh identify any changes in that 113 uh, time slot other than what i had uh, indicated on your sheet there so uh and you, you know it's bad because you're a wrestler if you don't if you can't tell who <laughs> it is but it's a brownsburg against danville down there on that far mat Brownsburg's fighting off the takedown. Looks like he might get out of bounds. And now he doesn't. Brownsburg get roll, gets rolled to his back. Oh, that's 120 pounds. Okay, that was Allen of Brownsburg versus Smith of Danville. And that was in the 120-pound uh, weight class, correct? Yeah, yeah. Well, like we said, for those of you tuning in, there'll be a lot of uh, dead time where there's not Brownsburg wrestlers. There'll be, uh, there'll be uh, a lot of uh, matches that are not Brownsburg folks. And uh, as David said, uh, especially early on, largely organized chaos. We're just trying to hit as many Brownsburg uh, mats as we can. And uh, right now you'll get to watch uh, some Danville and Cascade uh, wrestlers go at it here.
So at 126, it looks like Austin Arnold for Brownsburg will receive a forfeit over on uh, the mat nearest us. So I'll move the camera over there and watch him get his hand raised. <laughs> of you at home. He looked very nice raising his hand there, getting that uh, forefoot win for the Bulldogs. I thought I heard him say, okay, yeah, here we go. We got the, is it one... 32. 132 we'll have, coming uh, up. Savon Canto of Brownsburg going against four Nick of Avon. Okay. Well, we'll now look forward to that coming up right now. Tries a shot. Canto doesn't do anything. With wrestlers are dancing around the center. And I'll tell you what we'll do, David. If we get a thing here where we got a bulldog on both mats, we'll keep the camera on whatever match you're calling, and then I'll just do my best to provide updates on the uh, the far mat. Okay. Given my immense wrestling knowledge and play-by-play <laughs> -play skills, I'm sure that'll be just spellbindingly good for the audience. That sounds like a good plan. Spornick's got a leg. Right on the edge of the mat. But can't get control. Neither wrestler gets to take down there. That Avon wrestler just handed something to his coach. Did you see what that was? I, d I did not. You know, they do that in the pros a lot. <laughs> Guile. Slip a foreign object back to the manager. But you don't see that a lot in high school uh, wrestling. Ah. We got no score on this on this mat. Now the wrestler has a clear edge. Yeah, both have similar records. I think this match might be determined in the third period. Continues like this. Maybe even in the overtime. Canto is trying his best to keep control on top. Sfornix uh, comes to sit out, sit out to the stand up, and he gets the escape point. That's the first point scored on the match. <clears throat> Canto tries the shot, unable to pull anything up. They both wrestlers stand back up. Looks like we're gonna have. Uh... 
A Danville Plainfield matchup going on over here on the far mat. And then I believe another Bulldog will be back in action at 145 pounds. Spornix threaded the needle. Looks like he's going to try to turn with that. Get a cheap tilt. Kento's not giving up anything. He's uh, remained scoreless. Spornix has three points with about 20 seconds left in the second period. Kanto gets turned with the half. Spornix collecting back points. That's the end of the period. Kanto's able to hang on. Scores zero to six Avon. This morning's able to get behind after that buckled shot by Kanto. Now, Rob, is this your uh, first time at a Brownsburg High School Wrestling County Tournament? It is. How are you it liking is. it so far? It's it's organized chaos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It'll be a lot of wrestling. That's for sure. Uh, most, some well, wrestlers know, will have as many as four matches today. They'll be fatigued by the end. Well, you know, there's that old saying, get it out of your system. Oh, yeah. Spornick uh, advances to the next round. Uh, Brownsburg save on Canto. Looks like on the far mat over here. At the turn, I can see his face. Is that Paul Thomas of Brownsburg? Sorry, but I have bad eyes, Rob. Do you? Uh, I think that's 145, 145 over there. 145. All right, looks like it'll be Owen of Brownsburg going it's Malloy of Danville. Yeah, and here's the thing about the, these county tournaments: is uh, a loss is a loss. You know, sometimes, as you know, in wrestling, it's better to lose and not get pinned than uh, than get pinned because of the yeah. point differential. But here, it's just. Uh, you lose, you lose. Losing by one's the same as getting pinned. The state champion, Neil Malloy, looks like he'll be able to finish this match early, unfortunately. So this is the 145 state champion, huh? Yeah. He was, uh, was not a state champion last year, but his freshman year. Or his sophomore year, excuse me, he was.
Owens, who has had to stand, uh, step in for Paul Thomas of Brownsburg because of injury, as a freshman this year, has wrestled very well for the Bulldogs. up 13 to 2 at this point it looks like he might he's looking for the take uh, for the technical fall he appears to have a firm grasp of what he's doing and he just secures the pin yep some guys just look like they're a little more sure of themselves than others yep And the coach is giving the Brownsburg wrestler a high five despite the pin, so I'm, uh, not your fault. This is a tough match. That guy is very good. Yeah. That's Daniel who just collected the yeah forfeit for the bulldog there. Bulldogs, yeah. He'll be going against Fox of Cascade in his next match, the next round. Forfeits are always the best, uh, the best sort of win. Now, yep, we missed you earlier in the week at uh, yeah, for senior night. And I'm glad you're here today because I had to do that play by play on. Uh, <laughs> I apologize that I wasn't able to On make Tuesday, it. On Tuesday, it was, it was not. Uh, well, we're glad you're here. All right, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. The next Brownsburg match will be uh, Seth Bronger we're going, going against Richardson of Plainfield. Now it looks like it'll be on the match we have focused in right now. Bronger, who's six and two on the year, will be going against Richardson, who's seven and nine. Ooh, nice takedown. Yeah. Richardson gets the escape. That's two to one. And the playing field wrestler appears to have the size advantage. Yeah. A little bit taller. Doesn't seem to be helping him out too much in this match. Bronner takes another shot. And these two Forks teams up the leg. met earlier in the year at the uh, dual meet. Uh-huh. Trips back. Brownsburg victorious in that one. Yep. And I think that was the first meet of the year. Richardson takes a shot. Seth Bronner is able to get behind. Oh. 
Runner throws a cross face. It looks like he's trying to work in a cradle. It's funny how, go with that. funny how some of these matches, you, you can just tell they're going to end quick. And some yep. of them, you say we're going to be here the, the whole time. Yep. Bronner does a risky roll, and that's a pin for Bronner. Plainfield wrestler is upset about that. Bronner moves on to the next round. And uh, the next wrestling for Brownsburg be Stone Nice. Uh, well, it looks like he'll be getting a bye this round. Excuse me. And he'll be going against. Evan Elmore of Avon in the next round. To move to 182 pounds. Looks like, so looks like we're going to have a bulldog coming up here on our uh, the mat two. Yeah, that's Zach Rumschlager of Brownsburg, who's wrestling at 285 pounds. Looks like we're moving around a little bit. And he's going against, looks like, Plainfield. Lusk of Plainfield is 1-8 and eight on the year. Rumschlag, who's seven and four. Both men look like bears. Well, as we said, it is uh, organized chaos here at the uh, the county wrestling meet. So we will do our best to keep you informed on everything that's going on. But sometimes wrestlers just pop up, and we go, "Okay, we'll go over there." <laughs> Rumschlag gets the takedown. Moves out of bounds. The wrestlers come back to the center of the mat. Rumschlag gets the breakdown. Lust comes back up and is broken down again. It's kind of interesting, half, you know, how in these smaller weight matches, these guys can run around, you know, for two minutes at a time on the mat. And mm -hmm. these big guys, as the Plainfield wrestler there, tried to run for a minute and then said, I'm out of, out of wind. <laughs> Time out. I've been wrestling with Zach Rumschlag since he was uh, the seventh grade, and he's he's gotten a lot, a lot speedier than... Uh, his days in middle school. You wrestled him? Yeah, I have wrestled him before. He's got about 120 and pounds a on you. Yep, and I lost by one point. <laughs> now, was he that much bigger than you when you guys wrestled? Yeah, yeah. That was in middle school. I, I probably weighed 130 pounds that year. I think he was wrestling 215. Well, he I'm won. not sure if he actually, yeah, yeah, he did. He's you know, a great wrestler. He won today. Yeah. Yeah, so he's 1-0. And he'll be going against Cascades Stauntenheimer, who's undefeated on the year. Rumschlag will be looking to give him that first loss. That's the uh, Avon wrestler? Cascade. Cascade. Oh, right. well, yeah, we're joining uh, Avon versus... Avon versus Cascade on the match you're looking at now. Yeah, you don't have to worry about doing the play-by-play -play for those matches. Okay. We'll let you tune into the Avon uh, Tri-West uh, 285 match there as uh, we await the uh, next Brownsburg wrestler.
All right, so an update there. At 10 till, we'll begin the next round. So about uh, 12 more minutes. Back to your back to your book, David.
How's the health of our local government? Uh, sounds good, man. All right, well, it looks like we are just about ready to go with our second round action. We'll, we'll pretty much do the first the way we did the second. We'll, uh, we'll just keep moving from one mat to the next as we see a Bulldog uh, wrestler pop up out there, and uh, we'll get it for you. And, uh, David, I think we're going to be all the way back over there on mat one for Weaver in the 106-pound class for Brownsburg. Yeah, it looks like you'll be going against Gomez of Plainfield. Both men are freshmen this year. It almost looks like Weaver, uh, I think he's still weighing about 95 pounds. Is a uh, little. Yeah, he was over here jumping rope in between sessions, and it's like. He didn't need to be eating Twinkies or something, <laughs> not losing weight. All right, both men lock up. Weaver, who had his first round win, uh, Gomez, who had a bye the first round. Gomez gets the takedown. He turns Weaver. That's the pin. Weaver will move to the... Um, the loser's bracket, and, and he's going to be wrestling to try to get third place on the day. Now, wasn't Gomez, correct me if I'm wrong, the one at the dual meet who was wrestling like 113 and was still cleaning house at 113 at that dual meet, I think? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Now, we got another Bulldog wrestler down here, David, on the, uh, the far mat. I did not get a name. Yep, and he'll be going against Danville. Um, Malloy, who's a freshman this and year. Who is that for the Bulldogs? Is that Gen Gentry? Yeah, it is Gentry, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Zach Gentry, Brownsburg. 
seems like there's a lot of forfeits on these sheets, and you, you wouldn't think programs of these size or schools of these size would really have trouble getting that many guys to make make or find guys that can make the weight. Well, I think that that's just the way they set up the bracket. Um, every team has a wrestler in this weight class. Uh, just the first round, they need to um, move the bracket back one round so they can eliminate some people, and the best wrestlers get buys or forfeits in the first round. Buys don't get your team any points, but a forfeit will get the team six points, which will um, absolutely come in handy towards the end. Six uh, easy points for not doing anything is it's very it's welcomed. Dan will get to take down. So uh, is it six points per win, regardless of whether it's a pin or not, or is it like the regular matches where, hey, three for yeah. a... It's just like a regular match okay. where uh, a regular wins three points, a major decision's four, and Tech falls five and a pin six. Now, I was attempting to process so uh, what the PA announcer was saying, and I think he said that it was 27-24 Avon ahead of Brownsburg and then the other schools coming in shortly after them. Yeah, well, the first round can always be a little deceptive. You're going to have to um, – usually with um, how close this county is, it'll come up to the final match – uh, often to determine who the winner is and the team score. And that's the pin for Malloy of Danville. Brownsburg will move to the loser's bracket and he's going to wrestle for third. So we'll now uh, wait for the next Brownsburg wrestler to pop up here, and we'll be watching some other schools wrestle here for the next few minutes. While we wait for that, we can, or I can, as David continues to do the right thing and study. Uh, Brownsburg has won this tournament several times. First time was in 1973-74, and they won it uh, 73. They won it in 73-74, uh, 75-76. Uh, I'm sorry, 73-74, 74-75, 75-76, 76-77. Seventy-seven, seventy-eight, and seventy-eight, eighty-nine, and that is uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six years in a row. They won it in eighty, eighty-one, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-four, eighty-five, uh, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, and last one in two thousand three, two thousand four, and since then it has been all Avon since oh four, oh five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years in a row that the Orioles have won this tournament.
Here on uh, Matt 2, we're going to have Austin Arnold of Brownsburg, who is 12 and 5 on the year, will be going against Harris of Avon, who's 6 and 6. That's coming after a bit of a Brownsburg wrestling drought. Um, it's been a couple of minutes since the rest Brownsburg wrestler's been on the mat. Let's see if Arnold can uh, get some momentum going from impetus of uh, Brownsburg win. Arnold takes control of the match early. Snaps down Harris. Unable to get behind. Arnold snaps down again. Looks the airplane. Can't get it. Working in a wizard. Can't get behind. Takes a shot. And Arnold gets the takedown. Puts in his famous wing. Looks to tilt. He's collecting your fall. Oh man, that looks painful, Rob. This whole thing looks painful, David. <laughs> All of it. Just the whole. They've been wrestling for 50 seconds. I'm ouch every yeah. bit of the way. Harris will be uh, a little sore tomorrow. That's for sure. Arnold hooks up another wing. And rolls around. Collecting more near fall. This could be it. He's got 10 seconds left to go in the period. Keeping those shoulders up off the mat there, though. Yep.
That's the period. Arnold will be up 8-0 to zero as we move into the second period. And Avon chooses a uh, neutral position. Harris takes a shot. Oh my. Arnold's able to roll through it. Struggling to stay on top. Hasn't got the takedown yet. Doesn't have control. Oh, oh man. Oh, and he goes out of bounds. That could have gone either way there, David. Yeah, that was incredible flurry of movement. Takes a shot. They lock up and call a tie. Arnold's got the leg. Harris is still trying to maintain control. And Arnold gets the takedown. Threads the needle. Looks like he'll try to stack. That's the end of the second period. Arnold's up 10 to 0. Now there have been uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine four-time champions. Really? Only one from Brownsburg was Garrett Simpson, who I went to school yep. with, 2000 through 2003. I'm sorry, Vince Benier, 73 to 76, so two Brownsburg representatives. Three-time champions for Brownsburg include uh, Richardson, uh, Mike Benier, uh, 72 to 74, Richardson, 72 to 74. Mark Manure, uh, 75 to 77. Uh, let's see here. Adam Rosemeyer, 96 to 98. Sam Goldsberry, 92 to 94. 
Dean Arnold, 77 to 79, and Dave Hallett, 69 to 71. Arnold has a deep wing here. Looks like you might be able to get the pin. If you get Harris's uh, shoulders down, there's about five seconds left. And he'll win by major decision. 